All right, hey collective, how y'all doing out there today? Now let's see what's coming out these cards for y'all today. Now I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. <laughs> now I can't stop laughing. I don't know why. I keep hearing Goma Pile in my mind saying surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Now, a lot of y'all might not be familiar with Goldman Powell, but he's from Andy Griffith. <laughs> and uh, Andy Griffith got the son, Opie. Now, everybody might know who Opie is. But anyway, Goldman Powell was such a goof off. And every time he mess up something and then he get it, he'd be like, well, surprise, surprise, surprise. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't know what that's about. Well, let's see what's coming up these cards. Now, we're going to pull from two moon decks. I don't know what the name of them is, but they're based on the moon. All right? Since we're still in that energy. Now, I don't know what's going to necessarily come out and how this going to work out. But I'm sure I'm going to use some other oracle decks. And, of course, always the tarot. All right? So, let's just see how this is going to work out. Whatever comes out. Help me tap into what it is that I really need to see. Whatever they need to let go, whatever coming in. Whatever going on, Spirit. You know what the deal is, all right? Now, I did all that little prayer really good in the shower while the water is running down. <laughs> Glistening all over my body. <laughs> I feel silly. All right, all right, let's see. I feel like somebody about to have some fun. A blast from the past. Now you might even think about something from the past that makes you crack up. Don't think about bruh man. <laughs> uh oh, bruh man came through the window. <laughs> Mod. <laughs> Mod lot. Let me see what's going on, y'all. Let's see. We're going to pull from these first. All right, Moon, what you got for these people? All right, your first card is take a reality check. Now, of course, that's not saying that you're in any type of psychosis, but really analyze where you're at today. You know? And it's the full moon in Capricorn. Let's hmm. try to think. Now it's so funny that I was talking about Goma Pile goofing off. You know, not really uh, up the par. What's something going on? Let me see. Now, it's telling you to push through your insecurities and attend to the details. Now, all of these cards actually came out in another read. So, maybe it's a little bit more. I hear what assess the situation at the bottom of the deck. Now, I want to read out this for you. Just because I want you to tap in. That's funny. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Like epiphany? Because I said, you don't say. Now, what's going on? What's going on? All right, let me find it. Because, child, what is this? The full moon and Capricorn? Where is that? 98. Alright, now it says this card has two sides to it, literally and metaphorically. If you've been worrying about something, the good news is that you shouldn't waste another moment worrying about this won't help. Some things only happen once. And that can be really good news. If you're wondering about how something you're keen on is going to turn out, this card could be a sign that you've hit a roadblock. 
if you want to change that, you're going to need to put an extra effort with, with your manifesting work. Okay. And that's all about your mind. Remember, I told y'all in the last reading that these same cards came out. Push through any insecurities. The mind blocks. You know? It's really about how you're thinking about this. And remember, we're imagining at this moment. And I think something is about to surprise you. Yeah. Now, let me see. Let me warm my water out the way. I ain't got no lemon in it, y'all. But it looks so nice and cold, don't it? Just like spirit saying, chill. <laughs> Chillax, baby. Alright. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. Now, spirit, no, I don't want all these cards. I was just supposed to see that. Now, let me uh, fix the card. If you don't shuffle them, they will bend up on you. I'll be trying not to shuffle them because they get old. Can't win for losing. Alright, now a, room, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah. Now, this could have something to do with the relationship that you're currently in because it's going to take a reality check. You know, maybe you're worried about a relationship and how it's going to pan out. You know? Go with the flow. Yeah, and I'm just looking at how this uh, moon is, is kind of eclipsing. You see it? It's like the sun is eclipsing the moon or something like that. I see a little glimmer of light. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, something that it, again work through your fears, but push through your insecurities. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic, as in intimate, but something that you have a love for. Okay, you're gonna see this on all ends of this uh, romanticizing. Yeah, because you can have a show enough love affair with with something that you love, boo. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take these two. Put that one at the bottom. Yeah, the answers you need are coming, and you have your hard work is paying out uh, again, coming out with push through your insecurity. Now, that's crazy, and it's the time for healing with attend to the details. That's telling you to pass any past woes that you had in regards to relationships, work relationships, whatever that is. You got to know it's going to work out. You got to keep pushing through if you want to get to the other side. Put your foot in it, boo. Put your foot in it. Now, let me see what is going on. What cards can I possibly pull from? I'm going to pull from the first cards that came to my mind. And we haven't used these in a while, so let's do it. These is coming straight from the cosmos. <laughs> All right, this is our last card. It's telling you to have patience with yourself. Something is gaining momentum with this snowball. That's what the snowball represents. This right here is gratitude and sisterhood. Now, it, I don't know, every time, it, it's strange why I always feel a ways about sisterhood. Because sometimes it gives me group think. And right here is on Take a Reality Check. And a new romantic cycle begins. 
I don't, I just sometimes feel like, you know, sometimes when we run in packs, we uh, lose our own individuality. You understand what I'm saying? Now, it do look like some people got your back and everything right here. And you see how these sisters is looking up to the Taurus? The bull? Which is giving me uh, Empress energy. Love. You know? Now, I do see it in... But because Take a Reality Check is here, I don't know. This could have something to do with a collaboration. But love is at the bottom of the deck. You know? A lot of times people like to go to their friends and their sisters and brothers and ask them about the relationships that they're in. But it's you and that person that's in that relationship. Keep up, keep people outside your business. Outside, keep them outside. You know, I know it's sometimes good to talk over your situations. But child, listen. Sometimes you got to uh, contemplate on who you're getting this sound advice from. Especially if they're coming from a pace, place of pain and projecting. You know what I'm saying? Do what's best for you. A lot of times when you're seeking answers, you already got them anyway. But let's see what's going on with that. The sisterhood. Now, it, ain't, it don't have to be bad, but because that could be my own uh, insecurities as well. Because <laughs> listen... Y'all know how I feel about people telling me what they did. <laughs> know how I feel about people minding their business. You understand what I'm saying? And these, they got these crowns with thorns on top of their head, too. I don't know. Let's say what's going on there. Wait a minute. We got to do that again. That's too many. All right, Spirit. We just need one at a time, my darling. One at a time, please. I don't know why these is my go-to cards, y'all. This is my go-to card. They gonna tell you the news. All right, I'm gonna pull from these, even though they're the same cards, but they're smaller because I think I'm gonna have to pull from something else. My mind said go to these, even though they're the same card. If they're smaller, they're going to fit up on top of these a little bit better. Right. Yep, see? You see how they work out? Yeah. Right here. And then we got this, this thing right here. This tic-tac-toe rhythm going on. And this is all about the mask. What I told you. Now, I like to see this as at night and day. Duality, the devil, the angels, you're right here. Something in regards to choices, reality check. But we're going to read that card out. I want to get a little bit more clear on that. It's just giving me the joker. It really does. if these cards actually have a uh, reverse to it. But I'm going to see. Even though I don't pay attention to them in the reverse, I'm going to find out today. I don't know. I'm going to see it on both ends. It must be hot outside. Because I'm hot. And I got two air conditioners. Now we have the mountains. Time for healing. To overcome something. Attend to the details. And we have a reflection here.
And I do think you're saying something from a higher perspective. Yeah. Eagles, wisdom, and the tree. Yeah. You got the deer down here on land, and this is that deer looking up at these 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 birds in this tree. Mm -hmm. Now let me see. How's that hot all of a sudden? Sheesh. What's going on, y'all? That's crazy. Now let me see what this four is. Now I hope you can hear me because somebody said they couldn't hear me. But anyway, try to turn up your volume if you can. I know sometimes that don't always work. But try it. Now, oh, this is that. Oh, that's 40. My bad. Now, the mask, it says, look deep into your soul for whose amusement do you play? I balance the contradictions and encompass the opposites. I project your emotions or hide them. When I land to your right, I bring joy to life. But if my presence is to your left, then melancholy is in sight. Now, this actually is to the left. And it's right here on Take a Reality Check. And it's talking about uh, look deep into your soul, just like I was telling you. And it's something always about this sister. I just don't know. It just gives me fraternity, group think, initiation. It gave me all that. It gave me all that. And I, and I really hate to uh, cast the stone on sisterhood and things of that nature because I think it's good that we have outlets and things like that. But sometimes, some people get so caught up into what other people think instead of having that individuality. You know? You got to realize that it's always going to be some uh, Judas out there trying to deter you off your path. It is. It just, it, it, it's just the nature of the game, boo. Yeah, that's why he's still at the bottom of the deck. This is you telling you to pay attention to your higher self. Yeah. 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 And the fox is looking dead at the mask. Covering your house. And what's that coming out the door? I just noticed that. All these barns coming up out this door. I mean, barns. All these animals coming up out this door. In the background. I, I never noticed that before. And look how the fox is looking at that. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. Let me put. Let me pull some more, y'all. We're gonna get to the root of the situation. Try to think. All right, I know what to do. Now, I, I don't know why this is going to my mind, but it is. Okay, uh, and I have no, nothing against anybody in regards to their preference or anything like that right there. But, um, 
say for instance you got a friend that likes the opposite sex. Now, I'm not saying that this is the case for everybody either, but sometimes, you know, when we stray off into another, uh, into uh, the same sex relationships, sometimes it do be a little disdain for the opposite sex. Now, I wouldn't go get advice <laughs> in regards to male partnerships if I'm a uh, heterosexual from somebody that's, uh, <laughs> may have a little disdain for men because of their own projection. I don't know where that's coming from, but listen, something going on. Be the leader of your own discernment. Somebody might be hiding their hand. was at the bottom of the deck. And you got care here. Now, I do see support. I see support in regards to something that's new that's coming in. But let me see. Because there's a new romantic cycle that begins here. Yeah. Withdrawal. Now, you, I'm telling you, somebody is leaving something. Withdrawing. And it could actually be a, a sisterhood or something like this. Like somebody's breaking a chain. Yeah. There you go. Like somebody's trying to trap you. And right there on the fox. I don't know what it is, though. Yeah. They could be watching you, want to take your place. And this is the number four. Yeah, it could be viewing you online. Let me see. We're going to pull from the tarot next. I might need some more cards, but let me see. Yeah, I told you. Look at it. <laughs> You can't make it up. <laughs> Tend to the details. If somebody else fantasizing about you. Or fantasizing about something. Got some ideals. And this number, which one is 41? This is it. We got two reflections going on here. See? Yeah. But it look like they out of options. They really do. Like the track. Now again, I think that this has a lot to do with um mind manipulation. Now, somebody might need to uh, heal from a marriage. But I see this actually coming in for somebody as well. Somebody need to keep somebody out of their business. I know that for sure. And this is at the bottom of the deck. And what's at the bottom? See? Some type of distraction is going on. Mind games. Yeah. Now let me see. It made me pick these cards up too quick. I, I, was, I was spending to go to the tarot. Now I don't know what's going on. Let me see. What is this sisterhood? The boat. Money or property through an inheritance winning a windfall.
Hmm. All right, let me see. And we have two cards. Now we got too many. Let me see. What is this trap? Lighthearted, carefree time. Fire. Strong emotions, passionate love, or hate. And spiritual love. Happiness at the bottom of the deck. And the broom. New home, new attitude. Somebody cleaning up something. A chair for someone new entering your life. Now, it's like somebody want to rock the boat. Let me see. I got. I need the uh, tarot. My card's upside down. Let me see. Now you got a choice to be made here. Feeling left out in the cold. Somebody up in the head. Feeling restricted. And here go the empress same thing that this per these three people is looking up to. Somebody gonna feel like they left out in the cold. I don't know. I feel like a friend gonna lose a friend. I don't know what it is. But somebody's feeling left out. And they're gonna light bulb moment. Says money or property through inheritance, winning or a windfall. Yeah, but something got a, something coming to it in, and it's due to some type of light bulb moment. It looked like it's all good. Like somebody's about to re some type of something is going to surprise you that you may have been gullible to. Thinking about Goma Pile. could be a brotherhood too. It don't just have to be a sisterhood. And boy, do you got a lot of men out here pushing that high value woman crap. You know? Trying to make women feel less than if they have, if they're single parents and things of that nature. It goes beyond that, but it looks like somebody's moving on from something. Group think. Yeah, because you up here on this on this on this mountain by yourself on that snowball. It's something that gained too much steam in that regard. There you 
you go. There go the belief. <laughs> this is somebody else putting somebody else's uh, discernment above their own. That's organizations. That's jobs. That's whatever. However, that's the courts. It's everything going on up here in the matrix, the hierarchy. But it's going to be some change in that regard. In regards to your choices, your perspective. You're seeing something differently. Yeah. I see a little bit of elevation going on here. Taking control back. It just make me think about uh, you know how Hollywood put their relationships online and everybody got something to say about it but nobody's actually there. Girl, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. And listen. And the attraction that it gets. The perspective. Now, this is some news coming in. Something good. In regards to something you have feelings in regards to. Now, it could be information. It could be actually something. And there you go with the heartbreak. Right down the restrictions. Telling you to push through your insecurities. It's something about your own individualities. Now, I was looking at, and I don't have nothing necessarily against the person, but sometimes it 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 it, it makes me question, you know, because a lot of people say that they obtained a, a lot of insight due to uh, using psychedelic trophic drugs and st things of that nature. And I think that is so dangerous for the youth. Because everybody want to tap in the source. And a lot of people want to use those gateways as a means to do so. Now, I don't know if they got anything to do with this right here, but I don't know how I feel about people that spread that message. It's disturbing to me. I think it's very dangerous. Especially for people that feel like this. Group think. I think the more fantastical a person's story is, the more inclined people want to buy into it and believe it. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't, I ain't saying that these things ain't happen, but listen. This is communication. Tend to the details. Something that you need to stand up for. Hey, look at that. It look like something coming to the light. Look what this God done. The dig of the king, the swords with thought. Voice. Now right here in the center of all of this is telling you to push through the details. And it looks like you're gonna do that. I'm just paying attention to all of this right here in the center. And of course, the fox could be your own mind. Look at that. 
It's gonna be a victory. Now, I did fall out in reverse, so I gotta pay attention to it. And it says fear of moving on. Now, this could have something to do with either group thing, a marriage, people, all up in your head. I don't know. A job? It could be so many things. But something is telling you to, to, to tap into your own creative expression, thought. Tap into your own ideals. Because something has got you overloaded. And of course, only take what resonates and leave the rest. If it ain't for you, it's not for you, boo. Don't make it fit. You know what I'm saying? But let me see something. Where is my book? I want to read something out. Now, this is telling you to develop, develop a daily practice of gratitude. Breathe and slow down. Observe the beauty around you. Find the action, task, or act. Or an act that is positive. One for you and the ripple out into the world. Be generous with your time. Someone thinks you owe them something. Wow. Wow, and that came from gratitude. I tell you, it's like somebody is teaching something. Somebody's learning something. Somebody... Change. It's right here. That. Self-discipline with perseverance. Push through your insecurities. Attend to the details. Time for healing. Strong emotion and passion or passionate love or hate. Right here. And it's on the marriage. And whatever this marriage is, whatever this collaboration is, whatever this group think is, whatever it is, boo. Something in regards to your perspective. Gullibility. Yeah, and that fell on the table with new beginnings. And it felt I want to move on. Now, it's really up to you. 12, 5 and 7 is 12, is, which is the new door. 5 is changed in regards to whatever this is going on here in the matrix. Yeah, because something is gaining momentum. And look how she in the feeder position. Now, I want to read this out. Now, it says, support other women. This is the time to stick together. Yeah, I believe that. But sometimes, change must be made in society to curb gender equality. The feminine divine is calling you. There is a woman or a woman in your life that are a catalyst for you to change for the better or to become more successful. 
Women can be independent and powerful. Show loyalty to those who show it to you. And again, A catalyst is always something negative in the midst. Right here with this teaching and learning. But we got to remember, there's somebody with a mask going on here. And this could be your own mask. Your own independent thought needs to take place here, Goma. <laughs> I'm going on, baby. The I'm gonna leave this one. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna leave this one, and I'm gonna come back with another one. Because I know this may not be for everybody. Well deserved rewards. Believe and succeed. I think this is really basically. Yeah, rest and reconsider and seek the truth. That's here at the bottom of the deck. Don't rock the boat. Remember. There ain't nothing wrong with learning things and collaborating with others. But just don't fall prey to group things. Remember, don't conform to nothing. <laughs> Say, oh, yeah, I hear you, but boo, listen. Yeah, there's something about the shadow. You have to be in your knowing at this time because I do see this coming. And it could be the fear in regards to something that you're latched on to. Yeah, that you need to detach from, boo. Let it go. Let it go. You know? You got so much crap going on out here in the world in regards to these gender wars and what you need to do to connect to spirit. It's just too much. It's so dangerous. Man, people are so desperate. To heal, to connect. Don't go out there doing none of them drugs. You don't need it. You don't need it. Alright? And I don't know. I think it really just has to do with individuality. I'm right here. With the lily, spiritual lily. That's crazy, right? What's happening. You don't need nobody outside of you to validate you. You know? You got this. Love you. See you on the next one.